Next up is uh, a game that uh, I know there's only a single reason why it's in the list. And uh, I don't even know if we're gonna get there, because uh, I suck at these types of games. But enjoy this logo once again. Since this is the... Since this is gonna be a while before we get to the actual title screen, and the main reason why it was posted was because of a specific reason. Well, this gives it away, so I don't even need to say anything. I mean, it's not a bad game, it's just, you know. Honestly, my problem with this game is the problem most people have with this version. Because we're not playing the original director's cut. This is the DualShock version from 1998. And the problem is, is that they changed the soundtrack to... Something that doesn't fit. And not, and not just that, it was later revealed that the person that made, that did the soundtrack actually admitted to the soundtrack being ghostwritten by one of his uh, staff. Because he, the guy himself was deaf. And the music was ghostwritten by him, and he was a really, really good composer, apparently. Very good, uh... Conductor. There's a whole article on it, I don't need to explain it really. I can't, I'm a scrub. Uh, they, cha they changed Chris it because at the time he... I think they changed it because at the time he was... Oh, uh, Jill has more... Jill has more health, but she has less... No, Chris has more health, but he has less inventory spaces. Jill has more, but she's more fragile. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest. For I'm sure people have seen this, this scene a ton of time, but uh, for me, this is like the second time, because I, I don't hate the Resident Evil games, I'm just not a big fan of horror games in general. I did play Code Veronica X a lot back in the day, but that's about it. Also, also a nice typo there with the bizarre without an E. Look, Chris. Oh boy, that '90s voice acting, yo. <laughs> Look, Chris. It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. Doubtful. Oh, hi, Wesker. However, we soon discovered Doubtful, why. considering we we probably won't know. But uh, can we not? Because X Seven's already bad enough as it is. Brad, you idiot. Bird of the ground, bird! Bird! Bird of the ground, bird! Bird of the ground, bird! Bird of the ground, bird! Bird! Kill, run for that house! Well, Aizen, that actually was because 
The director's cut was mislabeled. <laughs> it was mislabeled due to the fact that the original Chris. the original release in Japan had things that were cut out. Jill Valentine. Yeah. Jill Valentine. <laughs> Barry Burton. Barry Burton. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Hello, Chris. Albert it's Wesker. me, Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. Resident we have escaped into the mansion. Into this mansion, we have escaped! Funny thing, Bo, uh, the what guy that this? did this, Shinji, wow. that directed this, Shinji Mikami, mansion. uh, one of his first games was actually a horror movie game. Captain Wesker, it was Chris? It was a Japan only, but it was called... It was based on a movie called Stop Sweet it. Home. Don't open that door! Oh yeah, I know That's Sweet crazy. Home. It was another one of those cheesy B horror, Japanese B horror yes. movies. So. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. The Chris reason it didn't get released over here was no. partially because we didn't okay. get the movie at all, so Let it wouldn't have made sense. This. It was original Famicom. Stay alert. Stay alert. By the way, I'm not controlling this. Well, yeah, I mean, the bars are there. This is a cutscene. Also, hey, Zaishin. Hello. A dining room. Dark. Now I'm in control. Is it bad that I basically memorized a lot of these cutscenes? Uh... Oh. Honestly, what? I've memorized a lot of these to the letter. What is this? What is it? What? What is Blood. it? What is it? Jill, see if you can find any other clues. Blood. I'll be examining this. Jill, see if you can find any other this clues. Is not Chris's I'll blood. be examining this. Oh, well, clearly not it's not Chris's blood, because he's going to be in the second game. <laughs> <laughs> well, Code Veronica anyway, but... Also, the ending for this game, the canonical one, is a combination of both Jill and Chris's scenarios. Okay. Also, I think you made a, I think you made a mistake by taking the knife in there. I think you have made a grave mistake. Oh no, I'm gonna be fine. Really? Cause you're starting to get fit. And that's that's no good. There, he's dead. And since this is Resident Evil 1, there's no tell of how much health you have left. Oh, uh, visually anyway. You actually have to go into the really? status screen. What is it? Which is something I'm glad Resident Evil 2 and later Let fixed. Me take care of this. What the fuck is this music? Uh yeah, you know that unfitting soundtrack comment I made before? Yeah, I know, well, but the too. only one I really Maybe know is the basement team. Well, the major basement one was just the Oscar. obvious one to rip on. Uh. Also, not that we're gonna use. Also. Not that we're gonna use it or get that far, but, uh, don't use that many first aid sprays if you ever West play this Gar! game, because. Uh, Help that decreases like your rank at the end of the game. This hall for the time yeah, I remember that from Code Veronica X. There 
There's no time to check it. Uh, yeah, you can't use the typewriter until you've checked the entire area. Yeah, all the Resident Evil games have a ranking system. I think even 4 did, even though that was the first uh, third-person shooter. If I remember right. Because I know it was a third per it was basically the third person shooter behind the behind the camera. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What no, is this about? isn't zero, thankfully. <laughs> Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay. I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Were Cyber Elves really Thanks. that stingy Maybe in Zero it. One? Yep. If you wanted S rank, you could not use a single one. Listen, if something happens, Fucking hell. Yep. My, fr my friend only did an A rank. This time, I'll be there. And I guess he was lucky for doing that, because... That sounds horrible, honestly. It's a... Uh... Yes, I will take the ink ribbon. I know how this works. Uh, in beginner mode also, the amount of ink ribbons you get is doubled. Good. In the normal game, you only have two per pickup. That one. Probably should equip the pistol, even though I'm limited on ammo. Uh, really, the only real thing that you need is... The... The bullets are the only real issue. So long as you know when to use them and when not to... Woman that's... drawing water. Uh, there is actually a map in there. See that scroll? Uh-huh. And see those steps there that are next to that one door? No, don't. You can go in there. You can I actually go... push those. Uh, you were in the right spot. That little thing next to the... Yeah, that. You just need to get onto the other side of it. And then push it behind her, and then you can get the map. And then that's the entire first floor map given to you. It's a map of first floor. No, we're not. I'm just giving him pointers. Yeah, because, I mean, this is technically just a showcase, and I'm not good at these games anyways. Yeah, not tonight. Wow, good game, good map. Uh, you have to hit, yeah, hit X another time, oh, or whatever. Okay. Now it makes more sense. <laughs> but it does look like there might be something here. Which I uh, might regret. Have, in, that room, in that room that you just walked in, yes there is. <laughs> yeah, fucker. I mean, if you see a body on the floor, just assume it's not dead. Usually I just use the knife to stab it to make sure it's actually dead before I walk by it. Then don't I don't push this thing. Uh, 
then I then you don't have to wait. Then you don't have to waste bullets on it. Also, Jill can go into places that Chris normally can't without the without the keys. Thanks to the lockpick. Hence why Jill is also the easy mode. When you know, you probably want to run. Although that was that was too late at that point. Honestly, I wouldn't waste the bullets on them. I'd just run past them. I sure get stuck over there. God, that music. I think the point I made before of the soundtrack is now... Green herb. Oh, hey, we could probably use that. <laughs> also, it only goes down for herbs. A carving of no, it doesn't, no, it doesn't go down for herbs. It only goes down for... The sprays. You don't have any herbs to combine it with. I thought Jill always got all four. Good, we're in the freaking bathroom. I'm glad. Um. Well, I mean, it's a toilet. I think, I think there's some. I think there is something in that tub. In the tub. Yeah, in the tub. I'm pressing X, and nothing is happening. I think there's a specific spot. Uh, try the sink then. I know there was something in one of these. Or maybe I'm thinking of the remake. Could be. I might be thinking of the remake too. Yeah. Right, Honestly, whatever. I'm probably thinking of the remake. Which, honestly, even though it mechanically is a much better game, they just said introduce more stuff that you have to do in it. And that makes me not like it as a result. So if Get I ever play Resident wall. Evil, Come on. So if I ever play Resident Evil, I'm probably just gonna play the original. Oh, this is okay, a room. Here. Uh, the next room is the Joe sandwich. After you get the... Uh, you can actually go into that other room. It's just... Unless you have a... A broken shotgun to put onto the wall, it triggers a trap where... The ceiling caves in on you. Uh-huh. Or the... Th the crusher comes out. And for Jill... And for Jill, she gets rescued by Barry with the whole Jill sandwich line. Okay, so I can just take this then? Uh, you should be able to. I don't know how many bullets you get with it. Seven. Just know that now, now you've basically triggered the trap. So we're gonna get the Jill sandwich line. At least we're gonna get that before we probably die. But yeah, for Chris, if you don't have the shotgun, it's a dead game, and you have to, and you have to kill yourself. You have to basically die. Yep. God, that music—it's so bad. Hey, what's going on? What do you think is going on? Jill, is that you, Jill? <laughs> what happened? 
Perry, help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! Come on! Hurry! Okay, thank you. The music is gone. Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. You were, Barry, you were almost a Jill Oh, my God. <laughs> but, Barry, didn't you say you were going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, they do... Yeah, they do uh, give Chris a broken shotgun, but if I you don't have it when you put now, that in, let's get back to then it's a dead game, Captain because Chris, you have we? no way of getting out. Thank you, Barry. So yes, yeah, Eisen, you are correct. Alright. I remember that, because I was done. actually one of the... I remember that, because I actually was one of the fools that, uh... Went in there without getting the broken shotgun. Whoops. Well. <laughs> also, in the first, in the first, re in the first few Resident Evil games, it's much quicker to. When you run, when you to count in your head how many bullets you have left. Fuck. And and then and then when you and then you don't and then when you are about to get the click, then combine the ammo itself because it's much faster than reloading in game. Dingo picture. <laughs> Oh hey, you could combine those together and get a almost full restore. Oh hey. And your first save room. The chemical. Which you won't get to use until much later in the actual game. Oh, hey, they gave you bullet ammo, so... Also, inventory management! Yep. Yes, we will mix the herbs. And I will use them. And hey, we're green now. When you put the ammo clips in there, it'll be much quicker to just combine them with the gun. Just combine them with the gun. You have to go out of the menu first, but... Nothing. Also, can I just say that when they were first developing this, their, their intent initially was, was actually to not have them step, not have the item boxes interconnected. Oof. It's a good yep. thing they didn't do that. Yeah, because you would have had to have done an immense amount of backtracking, especially for some points where you can't backtrack after you get past a certain point, which would make that un unfinishable. Kind of. They did bring a mode back in the in the remake that does that, but thankfully. It's not the original game mode, so... Hey, yeah, let's finish exploring this floor, I guess. Uh, Rhett... Okay, uh... Yes, I believe that is correct, Dyson. And blue cures you of poison. And blue combined with, with red with green, cures you of poison. 
By the way, in these types of games, I'm always super fucking paranoid, so I'm always checking the map. I mean, that it, is a big I mean, problem. I mean, it is a nice thing to know where you're going, so... I'm expecting dogs. I uh, already hear the to, dogs. Yeah, this is, end ga this is near end game, actually. Alright, let's not go here. It may be the point, Eisen, but it doesn't mean he has to like it. As the thing is, I realize that I keep doing that. Dude, hey. I've in my playthrough of Resident Evil 2 2019, I've been just checking the map often to make sure I know where I'm... Okay, do not shoot them. The cr So long as you do not run past them or shoot them... They will not, they will not attack you. Good burbs. Good burbs. Good burbs. Good burbs. Good so basically, burbs. so long as you don't instigate anything, they will leave you alone. The picture is entitled, The End of Life. Well, piss. Press the wrong switch, and they start attacking you. Ah! No, burbs! Leave me alone, burbs! I didn't do anything! Yeah, honestly... To be f Oh, hi, wizard. Uh, but yeah, wizard, to be fair... Th the reason they did this back then was because it was a technical feat. Because, I mean, look at these... Like, for the time, these camera angles were pretty... were pretty amazing. The problem is just... Oh, great. So there's a puzzle I'm not getting here. Yep. A bold-looking old man. So they all have switches. Great. Uh... The... That is supposed to tell you the... Okay, so basically... Let's not push anything for now. Okay, so... You want... Do you mind if I just explain this to you? Sure. I don't care. Uh, the... The actual... That is a literal translation of the Japanese... Of the Japanese riddle from the original game. In the original Resident Evil and in the director's cut, it was... It was called From Cradle to Grave. Newborn baby. So, in other words... So in other words, press them in the Terminal order of age. Man. Okay, so most likely newborn is first. Yes. Oh, from cradle to grave, there we go. Yeah, that's supposed to be your hint. <laughs> the way, okay, I'm yellow, it should be fine. Uh, okay, so newborn. Let's go. And then uh, to finish man. the, and then nope. to finish the puzzle, then you go press the switch that you press before that the crows start attacking you after you did that. Infant. I think you did in the wrong order. No, they're still not going after me. I'm a newborn infant. Oh, you didn't press the old man. Okay. No, no, no. Never mind. A uh, lively boy. That's probably the next that's... one. Yeah, it is probably the next Bold one. Bold-looking old man. That's probably the last one. Like boy. Push. Then, most likely, the young man. But, let me actually go see the other picture from the other side. Because I have the memory of a fucking goldfish tonight, so... Tired middle age. Okay, so it's young man. Young man, then tired middle age, then I believe old man. Right. Right. 
Yeah, the original, the re in the original Resident Evil, the a riddle was let didn't give you the answer right away. And bold looking old man. Then we press this. The end of life. Bells ring, but... And there's your first medal. The star crest. Okay, so this time it's just music going. Okay. Music. Oh my god. That's the main complaint with the Dual Shock version. Because functionally, it's the same game as the original. And the regular Dual Shock. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this section, I think. The question is, where do I bring this crest? I think that goes into that one area you were in before. Alright, I can actually run now. I think that would be it, but fuck it. Can't use uh, it here. Th those require specific keys. <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> in, thankfully, they they don't require you to do as much of that in Resident Evil Two. Doggo. Hey. Honestly, the main reason that I don't like this for this game, the first game, is because the fact that you're in the later Resident Evil games, including Code Veronica, it doesn't tell you visually, like on your character, how much health you have left. Yeah. Which is a thing I'm glad they did for the sequels. Don't, don't push that, Jill. Alright, are there gonna be zombies? Uh, zombies don't normally show up in the main hall. Barry. Uh, here's Barry. The only time Jill, they show up... What's going on? The only the time police? enemies show up in the no, main hall is if you try to open the front door. Whoa, this hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try somewhere. To find first, shall we? And he's just fucking off again. End scene. Of course, I'm gonna use another ribbon. And then in the later games, I believe they chest that I believe your rank goes down for how many times you saved as well. In Code Veronica X, if you wanted the A rank, you needed to only save when the game asks you to save. AKA okay, before that, you that... switch to Chris. That's the only yeah. time you could save. That is BS. 
Starving out of an arm or two. Yeah, you need the armor key for that. Oh, are you really gonna try to? Yep. I was just curious. <laughs> that only happens the first time. Every subsequent time, it lets dogs in. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, thankfully with Resident Evil 4, they got rid of that. <clears throat> and in Resident Evil 2 Remake, if you're playing on normal mode, I mean, if you're playing on beginner mode, you don't have increments at all. Which is a much appreciated you don't have any more inventory space. <laughs> Because you actually need that in order to solve a puzzle later. Hey, Jill! How's it going? Ah! Oh, if you, uh, yeah, if you examine Kenneth's course, you get more bullets, I think. Oh, now you can stack the fucking clips? I don't know why it didn't stack before. I think 60's the max. No. For some reason, it just didn't want to stack before. Well, now we can go back and get that uh, wood crest. Look from inside. Paranoia, yeah! <laughs> the only thing that I hate about the classic Resident Evil maps is that they don't show you your true position until 2. And even then, it doesn't show you where any items are at. I guess now I'm too spoiled by Resident Evil 2 Remake. <laughs> Because it tells you what items are left in there. And piano. If you find the sheet music for it and play a specific ditty, you get something from behind that wall. Which is what the crest is for. I think the sheet music is actually in this room. Yeah. I think it's behind oh that... That right there. Um, yes. I guess I can only push it to the other side? Yeah, yeah, there are some points where it's like, no, you can't push this, even though there's obviously space there. Yep, there it is, there's sheet music. Music notes. Also, if you're playing as Chris, Chris doesn't know how to play the piano, so you have to have Rebecca in order to do it. So Rebecca does it for him. And hello, Moonlight Sonata. Now memories of Earthworm Jim 2 are popping in for some reason. It's a shame that it's a shame that the it's a shame that the PS1 version never came out in America. God blame Sony for that. Also, the that's why you need emblem. the that's why you need the emblem from the from back in that one room. Okay, but I don't have any fucking inventory space. You do now. Oh. I mean, I'm gonna take the other emblem, and then I won't be able to take this one to put it. Oh yeah, I suppose you do need a second. <laughs> That's why I wanted to use a stupid star crest, and I don't know what these chemicals are for either. Uh, you probably should have just put the chemical and the crest in the box. Swallow the chemical, chill. <laughs> Uh Oh man, we've 
been at 40 minutes on this. Probably should just stop. Yeah, at this point. <laughs> At least try, at least find where your, uh, crest goes, and then that would be a good place to stop. I mean, I have absolutely no idea. Well, if you really want to know, it was in that one area you were trying to get away from before. But On the other side of the map. I was trying to get away from. The one that led to the outside, the garden. Oh god, okay. Cause there's cause there are crest spots there where you put one of the crests in. I see. Boop, 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 boop. I said crest, not breast. <laughs> Also, this is um, also this is pushable. Uh, there's an item there, actually. Oh, hey, clips! Oh my goodness, it goes over a hundred. I think it all. I don't know if it did that in the regular game, but I think it does in beginner. I think it doubles the amount of. Items you can stack over each other besides herbs and first aid sprays. What? Uh, I think it was a bot. Ah. Uh, right, where the fuck was I going? Ah, you heard the doggo. Yep. And that, uh, the thing next to it. There you go. There we go. Now that's one of the crests. I mean, that's that's as much that's a lot of good progress there, so it's also all, yeah, it's well, also a case of uh hey, let's get rid of inventory. Uh, no, I did not mean to talk to the door again. Hmm, what was the carving that was etched onto that door again? Okay, the zombie did not respond. Good to know. No, I, I was saying that as a joke. Honestly, we could just save and then be done here. But... Yeah, because I... Well, the problem is the fact that this was put in the list for it particular reason, but I don't know when you go to the fucking basement, uh, the so basement I guess we'll just is, stop. The basement is, is real and game. Uh, yeah, so uh, fuck that. <laughs> Sorry. Plus we got two. Yeah, there's other games to go. Alright. Anyways, uh, despite the very very strange and sometimes awful music, it's Resident Evil. There's really not much more to say about it. It's... I, it's not my type of game, personally, but, uh... I mean... Yeah. I guess we'll see if I wanna stream it again. It's... The thing is, as I just said, it's not my kind of game. So... 
we'll just move on to whatever else there is in the list now. 